My name is Brett Romero, and we're going to learn how to use a Python-based templating engine called Jinja. And Jinja is a lightweight framework which makes it easy to implement. And it's also included in the Google App Engine, which we're going to use as well. And the Google App Engine provides a great self-contained web environment, which allows us to get everything up and going fairly quick. We've seen a few benefits that Jinja can provide but the question remains, why use Jinja over some of the other templating engines that you can use in Python? One reason is proof of concept. If you want to create a website just to demonstrate something that is also functional, Jinja is really great for that, especially when there's multiple web pages involved. And it's very quick to set up for a small functional website. Jinja is purely focused on templates. This means there's not a bunch of other libraries that you need to worry about to get at particular kinds of functionality. When all you want is to switch out areas that change and leave areas that don't change, Jinja is the perfect small lightweight engine to do that. And by some studies, Jinja is 10 to 20 times faster than Django. Django being a larger framework that also has templating in it. Because Jinja is really just focused on templating, that's the only little bit of code that's executing in Jinja. So it's not going to be any kind of overhead for your website. This small website has only three pages. I can go to products. I can go to about. And while that sounds fairly simple, if I want to do it all in just HTML and CSS, it takes quite a bit of replicated code to accomplish this. Here's the index.html, for example, and then this is the products page. And you can see in here, I'm replicating a navigation and a footer. And this is the about. I'm also replicating navigation footer. I'm replicating including the style sheet. Really, the only thing that's changing is this middle section. So you can see the index. It has its own custom content for the middle section, and product does as well. There should be some way that I can just leave everything that is common to all these pages and only switch out the parts that actually change. I can show you an example of how we can do this very easily. This is the same website and I can click products and I can click about and we get the same kind of output. But if we go under the hood and take a look, it's much different. This is our index page. Comparing this to the other page, it looks kind of similar, but the real magic happens whenever we go to our other two pages. We look on the About page. You can see here a lot of this code is missing that was there in the earlier example. What's happening here is only the part that changes is listed on this page, and the Products page is the same. This is a drastically reduced amount of code. I'm going to show you how to do this using a framework called Jinja, along with the Google App Engine, which will serve as an environment and web server. To download the Google App Engine, just go to google.com and type in Google App Engine. Then click on the Google Developers link. From here, click on Downloads in the left. Then click on the Google App Engine SDK for Python. And here, click on the platform that you're using, and then it will download, and just go ahead and install it. Once you've installed the Google App Engine, go ahead and start the Google App Engine Launcher, which I have open here. What we're going to do is create a new app. So click File and New Application. I'm just going to call this Simple Site. And I'm going to put it in my folder with my other projects. Python 2.7 is fine. And the ports are also fine. I'm going to click Create. I'm going to click Start. That's going to start the website Simple Site. And if I click Browse, that opens up the website, and you see Hello World there. Now, there's no HTML on this page, and if we look, Show Source, you can see it's just an output of a string, no HTML. Let's go look at the folder makeup of this, and you can see the files that are in here. There's no HTML file. The string is being output by the main.py file, the Python file here. That's our first executable file. And we're going to modify this file and this app.yaml. So I'm going to go ahead and click both of these. And these are the first two we're going to do modifications on before we begin developing our templates. I'm going to drop these into our editor. 
me just go ahead and expand this. And here I've got the Web App 2 framework. Um, there's a few more things I want to import into this file as well. The OS library and also the Jinja library, Jinja 2. So those are the three main imports that you'll need. Now while we're doing these importing of libraries, there's a reference that we need to add to add the app.yaml. That's going to be name, Jinja 2, version, is latest and I'll save that and now I'll go back over here I need to create an environment variable for Jinja and you can see the hello world here I'm just going to remove that for now because we're going to replace that with our template reference so I'm going to create this environment variable I'm just going to use all caps because this is uh, basically a constant and what I want to do is Jinja2 dot environment open and I'm going to do loader equals Jinja2 file system loader. What this is doing is it's going to get a reference to the path where our templates are going to reside which we're, we're going to add shortly. Now I'm going to use that library pulled in OS just to help create the reference properly. I'll do two underscores file two more underscores close the parenthesis plus and it's going to be a subfolder called templates. Now while we have this set up let's go ahead and add those files into our folder. So if we go back to the regular HTML site we can pull out these files here I'll just copy and place them into our Jinja folder. And actually I want to do a templates folder and I'll put all the HTML files in there. I'll just leave our CSS file out here in the root folder right there. So now we have our three template files. These are actually HTML because we didn't do any modifications yet. Now back over here we're going to reference our first template file. So I'll just make sure I've got the indenting here and what I want to do is create a template variable. I'm going to reference our Jinja variable and I'll just do a copy there to make sure I've got it correct and I'll say get template and this is going to be the name of the template the first one which is our index file and I'll just space over here and then I'm going to do self response outright and then I'll do template render and you can see it's an empty argument and I need to put an I in environment and save now if we look at it in our browser you can see our first template is being pulled in. This is the regular HTML file. But you'll notice the styling is not in place because this was all centered earlier. So what we need to do is also add a reference to our style sheet. And it's in the root folder. You can see here we're making a reference to the favorite icon. This is also where we're going to add a reference for our style sheet. The style sheet and the favorite icon are both in the root folder so I can just paste in the syntax for the style sheet since I've already typed it up and it follows the same kind of syntax as the favorite icon and if I go back to our browser and look at that I'll refresh and now we've got our styling applied now if I click in any of these links they're not going to go anywhere because we need to tell the framework how to reach these files to do that it uses a special kind of syntax and we're going to place it in the main.py. So here what I need to do is add a couple more handlers for the products and for the about. Right now we've got a main handler and we're pointing to the index page so I'm going to add a few more of these for products and for the about. I'm just going to call this one about and I'll call this one products and next I'm going to change the file type or the file names this is going to be about and this is going to be products and one more thing I need to do is add them into our dictionary down here to the main application parameter and this is going to be about.html and I'm going to do about handler close my parenthesis add a comma so I can add another key value this is going to be products and I'll do a comma 
and I'll do products handler and close my parentheses and save. Now if I go back and refresh our browser and then I can click on products, I can click on about and the home page I'm going to have to remove that index.html because we're just using a slash for that. But we can now go ahead and start changing out our index to make it our base template. What I want to do now is put a variable for what we're going to use as our title variable. So two braces, space, variable name, space, two closing braces. This section here, I'm going to use a block. That's a brace, percent, and then I'll do block, and this is the block name, content, and I'll close with the brace, a percent and a brace. And below section, I'm going to do an end block, keyword end block, and I'll close with percent and brace. Save this. Back in main PY, I'm going to create a variable for the title. And that's just going to be title equals, we'll do welcome to ABC Inc. Save. I've got to create a dictionary now for the title variable to get passed to the template. And I'm going to call that template underscore vars equals, I'll open my dictionary and I'll put in a key value. The key is going to be title. The value is going to be my title variable. And then I can close the dictionary. And now I'll just pass in this template vars to the render function and I'll save. We can go ahead and do this for our other handlers so that each of our pages will have a title as well. We can go ahead and update our navigation. This right here is just going to be a slash and then we're going to do products and about HTML and those look fine. I'll save. Now if we take a quick look and refresh you can see our title has changed and I click the home and it no longer breaks. Now we're going to add our templating code to the about and we're going to strip out everything that's common and leave everything that changes that's unique to this about. So we're going to do another brace percent. This is going to do an extends index.html. So we're extending this index.html making it our base. So it's our base template. Now we're going to do another block. It's called content which matches the content block on our index.html now it's when we go to this child template, it will see that we have a matching content block and it's going to swap it in. I'm just going to copy this code and use it in our products page as well. I'll speed this up since it's just the same as the about. And if I save, go back to the browser, refresh and click products, you can see our new title is there. It's using our template. Our content is swapped in. I'll go to about. That's also using our template. That's a quick demonstration of how to implement Jinja templates using the Google App Engine.